Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will be unboxing the Yamaha YAS201. This is a fr front surround system with a wireless sub. And let's see what's on the box. So here we can see soundbar with wireless subwoofer, 160 watts of surround sound, simple connections, So what can I do? Immersive surround sound, quick setup and simple operations. Place wireless up anywhere. Subwoofer for powerful bass, wall or stand mount flexibility. It's always handy to have. And the back of the box, same text, different language. The model number. So I say let's open it up. So first off we have the remote Come with the batteries. Good packaging material. A set to drill the holes. So let's show you. So you can put it on your wall. Measure where you want to drill the holes or where you want to hold. Um, put up the speaker. Drill your holes, so it's like a template, well it is a template. And here we have the front speaker, Let's see what it looks like, I must say it's very well wrapped. better packaging compared to others. It's free. So, here we go. So, what I can see here is two front speakers, your left and your right, with soft, cushiony material. The back, you've got the connections. So, which is optical. The one it says 
Blu-ray DVD and one says TV. And of course your power. And this is the unit that would go underneath your TV. So let's go on to the next item. Uh, which I like, which is your manual, and it comes with this with an optical cable, which is always handy to have. Right, next. More packaging. And it's the last. is the wireless sub. Must say the packages the packaging is really good. Just like Christmas, like a present. There we go. So the sub is pretty heavy. So again, we got the soft cushiony material. Typical sub side. Your bottom feet. And the back, we got your power. Your power cable and a couple of switches between one and two and A and C. I don't know what that is yet, but we'll see. So, what have we got in total? Get your speaker, front speaker, your wireless sub, your remote control, batteries, and the manual with the included optical cable for sound, and your template for drilling the hole for your front speakers. So let's set it up. So in the end, would I recommend this product? Mm, no. Why? Well, first of all, the good points, it was really easy to set up. Just two power cables and one optical for audio. So it was easy, especially with the wireless sub. And I placed it around anywhere in the room and it worked fine. And the downside was the sound quality. And that is something you would expect from a speaker system was lacking um, there was two options the stereo and surround when I put it the surround sound or surround mode the sound was too high the treble was too high um, also had to put the bass to maximum and still I didn't I didn't like this in movies or music it just felt uh, very weak 
Also, uh, when switching on the unit, it took very long to turn on and to make the connection to the subwoofer. I counted up to 15 seconds at some point uh, before I had sound uh, yeah. at the same time I turned the TV on. So yeah, it can get annoying if you want to put some sound on. Uh, for the rest, uh, I would face another unit for the same price. Um, I paid $400 for this unit. Hopefully soon I'll review a different unit. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.